What's going on YouTube? This is Dallas coming to you with a video today. In today's video I'm going to answer a viewer question from my live hangout that I do on Saturday afternoons. I kind of answered this one online but after reading the question I don't really think I answered his question. I answered the way I read the question. So I want to go over it again. So let's break it down. This question comes from Young32 and he asked me, um, while growing your business, what was your primary source of inventory and what was your primary selling outlet? When I first started selling, my primary source for buying products was auctions. I went to auctions almost every day of the week and could buy as much product as I wanted to. And I primarily sold those items on eBay. Once I moved, auctions were no longer a viable option, so I had to learn the whole thrift store trade. Got into thrift stores and uh, I would say now that my primary source of inventory for eBay is through thrift stores and estate sales. Um, for Amazon, I still go out and do some retail arbitrage, but we're getting more and more into wholesale. So I would say wholesale is becoming a bigger part of our Amazon business, and Amazon's becoming a much larger part of our overall business than eBay at this time. Uh, what was the next question? Did you have a large sale or a series of large sales to fund your growth, or did you just consistently grow? Well, when I first started, I was just like everybody else. I, didn't, I was trying to gain knowledge. So I would go out and I would buy box lots, like I've talked about before, and use those box lots as an avenue to generate more income so that I could buy more box lots. And as my knowledge base has grown, I would say that most of my income comes from that $20 to $40 range. And it's been that way since I really went full time and I don't see it becoming any different than that. I've had some large sales. I mean, I, I bought a Handel lamp and sold it for a large amount of money. I bought uh, a couple of vehicles and sold them, but primarily most of my income comes from your everyday stuff, 20 to 40 bucks. And the last one, I have been selling full time for two years, but I can't seem to scale like you. Thank you very much. Um, and that's kind of what I talked, kind of the part of his question that I took about, talked about in the live hangout is the scaling part of your business. And like I said in that hangout, the most important thing to scaling your business is figuring out systems for every small little thing that you're doing on a daily basis. Be it taking pictures, buying products, packaging products, listing products. If you can break all those things down to very small little parts of it and figure out ways to speed that up. And the quicker you can go, the more you can sell, the more you can list, and the more you can buy. Because there's more items that you can process. But I hope that answers your question, Young32. I'm sorry I didn't really read your question correctly in the live hangout. But if you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. Until next time, thanks a lot.